Good morning. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Remember, thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and check out our Patreon site. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that we've just left Leicester. And we're on our way south, just doing the last part of the navigable river sewer. And this week we're heading down to Foxton Locks. Um, it's a very busy place, uh, I think boat wise, exceptionally busy with uh, gongoozlers and just general tourists. So we're planning on trading there. Uh, hopefully, the weather should be like this blue sky, sunshine, and lovely warm. Although, to look at it, you'd think it was snowing. But it's not. It's all the fluffy seeds and things out the trees at the side of us, but it's unbelievable. I don't know how many takes I've done of this up to now, but I keep getting a mouthful of fluffy bits. So, uh, yeah, Lou's just setting the next lock for us, and then uh, hopefully we can get out of this uh, blizzard. So we're just getting into uh, our fourth lock of the day and I think, I could be wrong, uh, I'd need to check the book but I think this lock is the lock that now takes us basically off the river and back onto canals. Um, so we should be on the Grand Union Canal Leicester Arm uh, from now on and not the river sewer. really enjoyed the river so it's great having the deep water under the boat uh, the boat handles absolutely fantastically it comes into its own um, when we start getting back to more canal type waters like this and it's shallow you really do notice the difference it's night and day the difference between being on a river and a canal in Lady Brian it really is a um, bit of a sad thing to see the back of the river but um, yeah, new adventures lie ahead and uh, I'm sure that will include more rivers. Yep, so that's it. That's the river sewer done. I suppose this is uh, new waters again. Let's see what mischief we can get up to down here. So we're, um, we're just waiting for lock uh, number 35 and we have had some major problems with lack of water in this pound. Um, it's probably about a foot down from where it needs to be uh, and because it's narrow as well in places that really does affect it. The boat's been dragging the bottom in places so uh, yeah, got to get through this lock. There is a boat coming down so that's going to be 
you know uh, introduce some more water in this pound um, the other lock wasn't leaking so I don't know where all the water's going to um, but yeah so we've told this guy that there's a, a bit of water missing he's bringing some water with him in the lock hopefully there's more water on the other side So this is home for the evening, um, we are literally just before lock 31 um, and again we're on the Grand Union Canal on the uh, Leicester section um, and it's beautiful, all I can hear is the birds tweeting, it's very peaceful, very quiet, it's very nice and it doesn't look like it's too busy a footpath there is one boat more just in front of us um, we have been that person that moors up where there's another boat um, but it's now half past six in the evening we've been going all day it's a nice bit of uh, arm core and uh, it saves doing that lock again so we've decided here is uh, tonight's mooring and that's one of the things, because we're on virgin waters all the time now, we don't know where is nice to moor and where is not nice to moor. Um, and especially on these sections, there's lovely places, but there's no mooring. You just can't get in because there's, the banking's not suitable for mooring up. So, uh, yeah, we've found this. We're having it. So, uh, Lou's uh, rustling us up a stir fry for tea. I'm having a well deserved beer, I think uh, a couple of nice hot showers because it's very muggy and uh, need a shower. There is a service point so we can fill up with water in the morning just a little bit further on which is uh, handy at Kilby Bridge and then it's onwards again so uh, yeah that's me I'm having a rest I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning. We're in a slightly different spot than where we left you uh, yesterday evening. We're at the uh, service point at Kilby Bridge. Uh, so we've managed to get rid of some rubbish, managed to get a full water tank, and it's time to move on. We're not sure where we're going to be getting to today. Um, really does just depend on the weather forecast. Um, if it stays dry um, we possibly will just head straight to Foxton it's about six hours and we've probably already got about an hour under our belt so yeah we might push on to Foxton if the heavens open or we get bored then we'll cut it short somewhere so uh, there's no rush just a bit of a magical mystery tour uh, if we get to Foxton today, if we moor up at the bottom, uh, I believe there's a seven day mooring. Even if there's only a 48 hour mooring, that'll do us. Uh, and then we can move up, because I think we're going to move to the top of Foxton Locks to trade this weekend. So, uh, yeah, it just means we can uh, settle down, get some work done, ready for this weekend. But it should be a nice cruise to get there. So, uh, as you can see, these pounds are really down at the moment. Um, 
that was actually our third lock of the day of the, day, of the morning uh, and on one of the locks further back there was a uh, CRT guy he was clearing weed weed out the uh, out the lock and the sluices and the overflows and all that kind of thing but he helped us get through and he told us that there is a water shortage up here uh, at the moment and you you know you can blatantly see we're a good 12 inches of water less it didn't help that apparently a boat came through on Friday was in a rush to get to the pub and left all the gate paddles open it practically drained all the pounds and it hasn't recovered since so uh, yeah stick to the middle and uh, hope we've got enough water Hi. I don't know whether we mentioned at the start that uh, if we want to get to Foxton today uh, we've got 14 lots to do um, I think we've got about another eight locks to do today and it's hard work at the moment they're all double locks and we're uh, a single boat but I believe we've just been told that there's another boat going up single in front of us so um, I've just single handed that lock that I've just done behind us and Lou's walked on to see if she can catch up that boat and see whether they want to just wait a minute or two so we can catch up because at the moment we're having to get to the lock drain the lock go put it in single handed be a lot easier with two two boats and we're not wasting water so uh, hopefully she can catch the boat up and um, they'll be willing for it to double up Well, uh, a bit of stroke a lot. It's not the boat we thought, but there's a boat coming down the locks now. It's winding in the winding hole just under the bridge, and then it's going back up for the next couple of locks. So, uh, yeah, it's not the boat we thought we would be going with, but there's another boat going to be coming with us. So that makes life a lot simpler for the next couple of locks. So, uh, yeah, and a bit of company in the locks instead of uh, being lonely. Well, that's all the locks done for today. It's half past two. We set off about half past eight. Uh, it's been a long, slow day. A lot slower than we anticipated. Uh, but that's all 14 locks done. Um, it's nice, simple, straightforward cruising. We've got a tunnel just in front of us, which is Saddington Tunnel. And according to the book, it's 881 yards long. Um, so, yeah, we've got that to do. And then we'll make a decision whether we're going to moor up before we get to Foxton or whether we're going to head into Foxton. Um, we'll see how we feel then. It's been a hard slog through 14 uh, locks, but we'll see. Saddington Tunnel. It's been a while since we've done a, tu uh, done a tunnel and that tunnel is different to every other tunnel that we've done in the fact that that is a two-way passage tunnel 
in that boats can pass each other in the tunnel. All the tunnels that we've done further up north are all single entry, one boat at a time. So uh, yeah, that was interesting. It's a lot wider, a lot bigger. We didn't meet anybody coming the opposite way. It's a bit of a quiet stretch of canal. Um, so that was good. And it had bat boxes inside it. So uh, yeah, little hoses for bats, which I've never seen inside uh, tunnels before. So uh, that was a first as well. Right, so we're here, we're at uh, Debdale Wharf Marina. Um, thought we'd pick up some diesel uh, while we're passing. And not badly priced really, to be honest. A lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Certainly a hell of a lot cheaper than the last place that we got to quoted. So uh, Lady Bryant is now fully fueled. And ready to rock and roll. Morning. We're at the bottom of Foxton Locks and uh, what a brilliant mooring this has been for us. Um, it's a two day mooring so uh, we've managed to make the most of being down here and uh, it's fantastic with solar later on in the day. But now is the time to hit Foxton Locks which is the biggest staircase lock in the country it's a series of 10 locks and it's all a staircase um well i think it's actually two sets of five actually uh, i think there's a passing point in between um but i'm really looking forward to this um you have to make yourselves known to the lockies um there's always a lock keeper on you can't operate these locks without a lock keeper being present so lou's headed off with a radio to uh, go and speak to the lockies to uh let them know that we want to go up um, because we're planning on trading at the top of the locks uh, because that is much better for us apparently so yeah just waiting for Lou to get on the radio to say, yep, this is what we're doing. There may already be boats. It takes about 45 minutes to get up and down the locks. So if there's already a boat in the lock and there's already a boat waiting, it could be an hour and a half. We could be waiting for a couple of hours just to get up. So we're gonna find out, but I'm really looking forward to this one today.
So we made it to the top of Foxton Locks this morning. We've got an absolute fantastic mooring at the top. The only downside with this mooring is the sun is there, hidden in the trees, so we're not getting any solar at this time of day, which, you know, well, it is what it is, but this is a supposedly, apparently, a really good spot for trading in. So uh, we're gonna set up ready for trading tomorrow and uh, we'll see how we go. But I don't know whether you can make it out just down there. We've uh, met up with uh, some subscribers and there are also some other people who've just turned up who you guys might know. So uh, we've decided we're gonna sit out and have a couple of beers.